everyone, and welcome to the Oyster Shell Craft Program. I'm Karen. Here's Liz. Hi. And we're going to show you how you can turn your ordinary ordinary oyster shell into a ring dish or salt dish or decoration. Okay, so everyone will have, in their kit, will have an oyster shell, um, the gold paint, um, paint brushes, and pearls. So this is a finished oyster shell, which was spray painted white. Um, because the, you know the oyster shell itself has a lot of markings, so we wanted to start with a nice white finish. So you spray it and let it dry. Then you take your Mod Podge, and I like the shiny for this project. Mod, po Mod Podge comes in um, flat, comes in shiny, even metallic I've seen now. So you give it a nice coat, okay? And then you lay your tissue paper. Now the tissue paper actually is two or three layers. So when you get your tissue paper, these are just napkins, you want to go to an edge. Oh, here we go. And you have to carefully pull away um, some of the tissue. I think this one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. I think this That's is the third. third. This is, this that is was the third. third because, oh. Yeah. oh, okay. So we, so it's nice. So you can see this is the third. Okay. So here is um, the blue. Lay it on top and press it in. If it wrinkles, don't worry. Even if it um, tears, you can do a repair after the fact. So we're just gonna let that dry. You can use a hair dryer to speed up the process if you'd like. All right, so once that's completely dry, um, then you would um, take, take it again now, in this case, this orange part, it broke away. So I'm just gonna take a piece and just repair it. With just like a little dot of Maj Podge. And then I'm just gonna lay. You can actually probably do like a whole collage if you wanted to. You could take different pieces of tissue paper, different colors, okay? We're gonna let that dry, okay? Once it's dry, now I've already torn away the edges, but once it's dry, you would um, put another coat of Mod, Mod Podge and you can wait and, until it dries again and put a third coat. It would just get shinier and shinier, which looks really nice actually, okay? So you give it a nice coat and you would let that dry. Okay, now once it's dry, completely dry, here's where you would take the gold paint. Everybody got a little container of gold paint and a brush. Okay, you put a little, put a little gold paint on your brush and using the side of the brush, you tap it. You go all the way around. It can be as thick or as thin as you like. You just kind of tap it in. And you can wait to let this dry and do another coat if you like. Okay, and then once that's dry, um, you can add a pearl with a little bit of glue, um, with the glue gun. I'll show you on this one. So I'm just gonna take a little dot. If you don't have a glue gun, you can use glue. Okay, just drop it right on top. And this works nice because it'll hold a ring. This way your ring will hold it in place, okay? What's nice about the glue gun is that it dries immediately, um, whereas regular glue might have to hold the, the pearl in place. You can also put three pearls on the bottom to create little feet. Um, these all have been done already. Okay, so that is um, oyster shell ring dish.